emergency broadcast. We're sorry. All circuits are busy now. Will you please try your call again? Hello, YouTube and Preppers. This is the comms prepper with one of the comms prepper helpers. Hey, Preppers. And we're up at the retreat location this weekend, and we're going to go live with the rainwater harvester. Over the winter, I plumbed up the first tank here. That's a 1,500-gallon cistern tank there. So we're going to go ahead and connect the spin-down filter. We're going to put the drip valve in at the end because it's all opened up for the winter now. We're going to scrub and wash out the gutter there. We're going to take that leaf guard off clean the gutter, spray it down with a little bit of bleach. We're going to hop down in the tank there. There's one leak I have to fix, so I've got some aquarium safe silicone. We're going to plug that leak, and by the time we leave this weekend, we'll have the harvester ready to collect the first rainwater, and we'll see how this project works for a full season. So we're going to go ahead and break here and get started on putting this back together and getting it ready for service. All right, the first thing I'm going to do here with this water and that brand new toilet brush here is just scrub out the inside of the gutter and get some of the debris out of the gutters that collected over the winter. And then we'll go ahead and reinstall that leaf guard there. And then we'll work our way down to the filters and get those connected. All right, guys, now I have a bleach sprayer mixed with water. And I'm just going to run down the gutter and spray the gutters with the bleach to disinfect it a little bit. We got all the dirt out of the gutter. Let's see if you can see it. We had some leaves and stuff collected in there, so we got that all cleaned out. And we'll hit that with some bleach, and we'll get into the tank. So we got the lid to the tank open here. Not sure if you can see down in there with this camera. And we have our aquarium safe silicone here. So we're going to get down in there and seal up the leak where the water comes out of the tank. And spray that down with a light bleach solution before we start collecting water. I'll actually get down there in the tank. We'll seal this back up and then we'll put the filters on the actual rain harvester over there. So I've did a video on these in the past. This is a mechanical water level gauge and I'm pulling the string here on a weighted float. If you can see the, the needle adjusting. Here's the float here and this actually rises and falls with the water level and adjust that needle there so you can see what your water level is. I've got one on this tank and I've got one on the other tank and I'll put a link down below to where I got this. I actually found this company through one of Southern Prepper One's videos and I think these gauges are really great and a lot of my neighbors up here have actually started using these gauges because we're all on cistern tanks. So I'll put a link down below to where you can get one of these gauges if you have a cistern tank. So we'll go ahead and pause here so I can get the ladder in there and seal that hole up. We're down here in the tank and we sealed up around that penetration. This is how the water actually gets out of the tank. And the hose is a little bit off the floor so it doesn't suck crud up. Because from time to time we get a little bit of rust that comes down. And here's the inside of the tank. And the water comes down these two holes here. One's a vent pipe. So we cleaned up the tank last trip. So now what I'm going to do is spray this all down with a light bleach solution. And kind of sanitize it a little bit. And we'll go ahead and start filling this up with water using the rain harvester. So part of the winterizing for this rain harvester is removing the spin-down filter here. This is a Rusco spin-down filter with a stainless steel screen mesh. That connects right there. And what we're going to do is reassemble this. Sorry about the shadow. And I'm going to put a little Vaseline on the gasket and the threads there. And that white pool chlorine puck will sit in the bottom of the filter. So as the water comes in through the rain harvester, it gets shocked a little bit with chlorine. And that black sleeve is actually used to block the sunlight from the filter and block the growth of algae. So we'll go ahead and get this put back together and you can see this part assembled. So the filter part plugs into a socket up inside the filter housing. And what happens here is when the rain comes down, the first part of the rain comes down from the gutter to this T and drops through the bottom of the T, and in there you'll see a black plastic ball. And winding its way towards the back is four inch pipe. And at that end is a drip valve. So when the rain first starts, the dirtiest water, rinsing off the roof, fills up this pipe and actually backs up in the pipe. They call it a first flush or a first wash. And as that water is backing up, the roof is getting rinsed off. Until the pipe fills up completely, and the black ball in there floats and plugs the hole. 
and now the water can flow through the T, comes down into the spin down filter, goes through the stainless steel mesh, hits the chlorine puck, gets shocked a little bit, comes out of the filter, and then from there I can direct it to either one of my two tanks. I only have one tank plumbed up now, but later that valve will go to the second tank. Or I can configure it to discharge out of the rear of the harvester so my neighbors can collect rainwater when I'm not harvesting or don't need it and it's still raining. So my neighbors know this is here and if they need to fill up little tanks for themselves they can pull their trucks down here. We bulldozed in a road. They can hook up their hose and harvest some rainwater. So we'll go ahead and complete the reinstallation of the spin down filter and we'll show you what it looks like when it's done. All right guys, the spin down filter is installed. It's clean, it's got a chlorine puck and the UV boot around it. I can't think of the name of it right now, so I'm gonna call it the UV boot or the UV sock. And we'll go ahead and get that drip valve put in next. Install the drip valve that goes at the end. There's a coarse screen filter and then a fine plastic screen filter. And in the bottom of this is a little drip valve. And the idea here is when it first starts raining again, the first part of the water backs up in that pipe. And then when it stops raining, that pipe there will drain itself through that drip valve, kind of resetting the system, getting ready for the next rain. So we'll go ahead and put this UV boot on there and we'll get the drip valve installed and we'll be ready to harvest rainwater. All right, guys. Well, there's the drip valve installed. And I'm sorry for the poor camera work. And this is the first flush or first wash chamber. So let the water back up so the water can rinse. We've adjusted our valves here. We've closed the two going to the neighbors and to the other tank and opened up this valve so the next rain, water should come in, go through the filter, come into this pipe, go across there, down into the tank, and my level should rise. So that's the first part of my water plan up here at the retreat location. When we get down to the bottom of the hill, I'll show you how I deal with it down there. And what we're going to do now is loosen these screws and get this leaf guard put in correctly without cutting my hands all up like I've already done. So, we'll get, we'll, so I'll pause here and we'll get on that. Well, we finished prepping the rainwater harvester up there at the top of the hill, top of that tree line there. And how I get the water down here to the cabin is it's gravity fed. There's no pumps. There's no pressure tanks, just comes down the hill. It's buried about 36 inches all the way down the hill here into the cabin. And I do dishes and laundry with it and run the bathrooms. But for drinking water, over here I use a stainless steel pot. And we actually bought this pot for that purpose, to boil water. Uh, we looked at the pots that we had. Most typical kitchen pots are just too small. If you're going to be boiling water for any prolonged period of time, you want to be able to do some quantity. So we got a large dedicated stainless steel pot, commercial grade for boiling water. And then we have a catadine gravity fed or drip filter system here that filters down to two microns. The plan is, is when we start harvesting rainwater, we'll continue to use it right out of the tank to run the toilets, run the shower, do dishes. But for the drinking water, we'll go ahead and put it in the pot, boil it up, let it cool, and then go ahead and put it into the catadine drip filter here and in theory out of the bottom should be potable drinking water and we'll let you know how this goes this is the first season we're going to have the system up and running actually catching the rainwater and using it so as always thank you for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel this has been the comms prepper with an update on the rainwater harvester and a nice weekend out at the retreat location in wonderful west virginia bye guys